How's it going everyone? Welcome to a episode of Dark Tide. This is a game that we just started today, so it's going to be a blast. Uh, it is a shooter from the Warhammer series, a spinoff. Uh, it came out about two months ago, I want to say. Uh, ultimately, we don't know anything about it. We're going in completely blind. It's going to be myself and a friend playing this together, so it's going to be a cooperative experience. If you enjoy this content, like, comment, subscribe, comment with any games down below that you want to see played in the future, whether it's, whether it's co-op, whether it's single player. Uh, and aside from that, well, let's play. It is the 41st millennium. For 10,000 years, the Imperium has dominated the galaxy. There is only war. Every human soul, from the most highborn lord to the most basic servitor, is back. dedicated to the service of the God Emperor of Mankind. Interesting. The Imperium's battle fleets and armies, from the conscripted soldiers of the Astra Militarum to the elite space marines of the Adeptus Astartes, keep humanity safe from alien threats and cosmic horrors beyond imagining. But there is another war. It is the one in which I serve. not one of battlefields and fleet engagements. It is waged by the dedicated agents of the Imperial Inquisition. <clears throat> it is fought in the cities and hives of the Imperium. In the back streets and the forgotten sublevels. In hive cities like Tertian. We are surrounded! For if the Inquisition fails, if we fail, the Imperium falls with us. That's a pretty cool opening scene. Sweet. I agree. All right, let's hop in. Processing Inquisitorial Clearance. Okay. All right, what do we got here? So, creating the operative. We got the Ogren Skullbreaker. Ogrens are massive, powerful abhumans, often used as shock troopers for the Astra Militarum. They are strong and loyal, but have limited intelligence. We have uh, the Psyker Psykinetic. Uh, psychic mutants or psychers draw power from the immaterium to fuel their formidable mental abilities. They are viewed with suspicion as witches throughout the Imperium. We have the Zealot Preacher. Zealots are fanatically pious warriors whose rage and fervor in the Emperor's name leads them to places those of lesser faith would fear to trend. And we have veteran sharpshooters. Troopers of the Astra Militarum. Veterans are valued as skilled and seasoned warriors for the Emperor of Mankind. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Sharpshooter. I kind of figured that one. The Mobian Domain is full of established worlds, burgeoning settlements, and far-flung colonies. Even though you've been on the move for a long time, there's still one place that you can call home. Crucis, considered the second world of the Mobian Domain, Crucis is a large shrine world and a popular destination for pilgrimages. 
uh, Mezzalina Glorant, Glorian, a heavily forested moon that serves as a, min uh, a minor shrine world. Mezzalina Gloriana has few resources and low population, but is strategically important since the fall of nearby Comaris. What are these names? Uh, Rockeria, a small agri-world that produces intensively farmed and mass-harvested gain crops. Rockerians are the butt of many jokes, considered backwards by other Mobians, and yet they are hardworking and honest to a fault. Branx Magna, a thriving industrial world. Branx Magna is the most densely populated in the Mobian domain. It's teeming billions manning its continent-spanning manufacturums night and day. Incron, an oceanic world, the populace of Incron inhabited vast hive islands. Incron is the Mobian domain's main naval depot. Cadia, formerly the Imperium's most famous fortress world, its fall marked the beginning of the era in Dominus of the Dark Imperium. Mornax, a small grim mining world known for its hellish conditions, which produce a famously hard and dour populace. And Pavain, relatively newly colonized. Pavain is already a self-sustaining world rich in natural resources whose population is expanding quickly. Wow, that is a mouthful. Um, I don't know if this is going to affect us later, so I think I'm going to go just rock Rhea. Okay. Childhood. Uh, one's character is defined by childhood experience, or so they say. Like so many others in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, you had a tough upbringing, but unlike many, you got through it with the scars to prove it. Agritoiler. Few hive words are capable of supporting their own populations, and so the duty of providing food for the Imperium's untold billions falls to the agri worlds, where the entire surface of a planet is devoted to growing crops or raising livestock on an unimaginable scale. Militia Lackey, the pressed youth of a planetary militia, rarely achieve any rank nor garner any glory. If they're lucky, they might learn some survival skills while serving as trench runners or ammo monkeys. Rox Prodder, bred throughout the Imperium as invaluable livestock. Rox are large, stubborn, and infamously aggressive brutes who regularly turn on their handlers. Thus, they must be herded by brave or foolish prodders. You, uh, youths whose life expectancy is predictably low, and an algae farmer. Algae farmer or algae farms can be found all across the Imperium, growing huge quantities of sludgy plant matter in industrial scale vats. Once processed, algae provides a plentiful, if foul tasting, source of nutrition for the burgeoning Im Imperium. Okay. All these kind of, uh, suck? Yep, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> Uh, Militia Lackey, let's go. Oh my gosh, it looks like we're going to have nine of these. I don't know if I can talk through that much. There aren't a lot of options for folk like you growing up, but you had to find a way to overcome the trials of youth by fair means of foul. Enlisted, the Militia are the first line of planetary defense and serve as fertile recruiting ground for the large and better equipped forces of the Astra Militarum. Hive Ganger. Hive Gangs are territorial criminal organizations and run all manner of rackets in the lower depths of the Hive Worlds. The most hard-bitten gangers are highly sought after as recruits for the Astra Militarum, although most would rather die in a pit fight than serve the Emperor as a soldier. Comfort through discipline. When searching for new recruits, the Astra Militarum will take out anyone able body but those with discipline and mental fortitude make the most reliable soldiers for the crucible of war and are often earmarked as the officers of the future. Conscripted, the Astra Militarum is a formidable force and a favored battle tactic is to engage in the enemy in a war of attrition. It takes a constant influx of new recruits to replenish the casualties suffered in the maelstrom of meat grinder battles. Hive Guide. With level upon level, hives are labyrinth and ever-changing as old access routes are closed and new ones opened. Without a guide, even people who've lived in a hive their entire lives can become hopelessly lost if they stray too far away from their district. Witness to a crime. To ensure none escape justice, the enforcers in the Mobian domain often round up and punish those who witness but fail to report. A crime even when the witness withheld information for fear of their lives. No exception is made. Those are terrible spots for commas, but okay. Um, unpaid debt. In most hive cities, debt collectors thrive in an industry built to exploit the impoverished and vulnerable. Bailiffs, strong arms, and even bounty hunters are often employed to procure what is owed to um, emerald money lenders. 
Oof. Okay. We're gonna go Hive Ganger. Mine are different. So it probably does change based on what you're picking. Right. Mine's a uh, lowly scribe, isolated, self-reliant, saw the light, true calling, pilgrimage, and injured. Gotcha. Would you want me to read these? Uh, pff, no, I think we're good. <laughs> okay. I'm half tempted to just kind of go down them, and uh, anyone who wants to see them, you can pause the video and read it. Right. Uh, interesting. So this is like building a backstory for your character. Or like a D&D &D character. Right. All right, I'll go Warp Storm. Ah, there we go. We're finally at a point where I can breathe. All right. Uh, so male or female, we'll go male. Here's some interesting customizations here. Doesn't connect. For a better beard. Ah, there we go. That feels familiar. <laughs> All right. Um, a lot of customization. Scars, neat. I like that scar. I eat. Is this actually gonna matter? Gosh. Alright. Your life choices have molded you to the person you are today. There's been happiness in your life, sure, but you're left with plenty of scars and not just the physical kind. This is what you have become. All right, so these actually matter. The professional, just another day in the Imperial Guard, only I'm not even part of the Guard any longer. Not since that business with the commish commissioner? All right. The court martial and the holding cell. Now I'm part of this merry band of maniacs for better or worse. Still figuring out what that means exactly, but most of it seems to be putting the boot in on the emperor's enemies and not getting summarily executed for meeting the wrong stare funny. So I guess I'm better off. At least so long as the ammo and grub doesn't run out. If we go with the professional, we get a selection effect. Your operative's personality affects how your character responds to other characters and events. Another day, another set of useless bloody orders from some useless bloody carker sitting safe in planetary orbit while I'm down here in the mud trying not to get me block knocked off. Just my carking luck. I mean, it wasn't my fault that a few things went missing from the stores now, was it? If they were needed for the war effort, then the quartermaster would have locked the door or at least placed a guard, wouldn't he? No. Wait, come to think of it, there was a guard. And a lot of blood. I'm just going to say right now, if that microphone was there this entire time and I didn't notice it, I hate everything. But anyway, let's listen to what the cutthroat is. I watched the world die. 8,000 years of defiance gone in an eye blink. And with it went some of the finest soldiers I had the honor to serve alongside. Not for glory, not for victory, not even for defiance. But because sooner or later, the void swallows everything. I learned something that day. No world, no bastion, maybe no faith is impregnable. The agents of the enemy are everywhere, watching, plotting, waiting. The only thing to be done with heresy is to root it out with fire and steel. Just I'm another day in the Imperial Guard. Only I'm not even part of the guard any longer. 
Not since that business with the commissar, the court martial, and the old no. cell. Now I'm part of this merry really? band of maniacs. For better mm. or worse. Still figuring out what that means agitated. exactly. <laughs> but most of it seems to be putting the boot in on the Emperor's enemies and not getting executed for meeting the wrong stare funny. So I guess I'm better off. At least, so long as the ammo and grub don't run out. I think I'm gonna go professional. This is where your life journey has led. You are a prisoner of the Imperium convicted of a crime you may or may not have com uh, committed, but guilt is irrelevant at this point. Innocence proves nothing. Uh, the dereliction of duty. The punishment for dereliction of duty is often death, but in some cases the sentence is waived in exchange for service in a penal battalion or worse. Uh, selection effect, yellow prison garb. Okay, so this is literally the color of garb we're wearing. Um, insubordination, disobedience real or implied to imperial authority is enough to earn demotion, prison, or death. Misplaced faith, so powerful are the upper figures of the Adeptus Ministerum that to draw their ire by questioning their faith or worldly habits is to invite a death sentence. And sedition, overly seditious conduct ra uh, ranging from disrespectful speech to mass organization with intent to protest is all considered part of a tendency toward rebellion against the established order and that is something the Imperium will not tolerate. Uh, the selection effect for the sedition is the blue prison garb and I think that's what I'm going to go with. <clears throat> I'm going with insubordination just because I like red. Yep, same reason. Go ahead and throw my name in there. You were born on Rakria like many Hive Jews. You were drafted at an early age to serve a menial role in the local militia as a Juve. You found yourself in the bowels of a Hive city where you eventually joined a local gang. On campaign with the Astra Militarum, you were stranded in a warp storm for nearly two years. Someone overheard you expressing disgust at the weird taste of corpse starch and reported you to a foreman. Within hours, you were on your way to the prison ship, the Tankard Bastion. You are aboard the Tankard Bastion en route to Atama Prime. If you want to read that one, be my guest. That seems like the backstory put together, which is kind of cool. Okay. You were born on Rakria. Like many Hive Jews, you were drafted at an early age to serve a menial role in local militia after serving both the Sump Rat Scourge and the Cult of the Red Death Uprising. You became a self-confident survivalist, able to emerge relatively unscathed from any situation. After confrontation turned violent and a rival was slain, you were forced to flee to avoid retribution from your enemies. It wasn't that you didn't get out of the way of the passing magistrate, it was that you didn't get out of the way quickly enough. That alone was enough to earn a one-way trip to the prison ship, the Tancred Bastion. You are aboard the Tancred Bastion en route to Atoma Prime. Neat. I kind of like those backstories, it's pretty nice. All right, finalize operative. Are you sure you want to conclude operative creation with these options? Confirm and play the prologue. Yes, I am confirming. The emperor bears the weight of mankind's ills. Only the coward seeks compromise. Be thou the scourge of traitors. Let faith trample reason. Let thy weapon be zeal and thy armor contempt. Faith, honor, vigilance. Honor his name with the spelling of blood. The reward for bravery is martyrdom. Okay, I think that was literally infinite. Cool. <laughs> Prisoners all secure, ma'am. I'll check for myself if you don't mind. Of course, ma'am. But do be wary. Every one of them's a filthy heretic. That one certainly is. Keep him intact. <clears throat> no accidents. My master wants to interrogate him as soon as we reach the hive. Of course, ma'am. Upon my life. This one, however... Makes you wonder why we even bother shipping trash like that. Hmm. Save a lot of data slate work just to process the execution notice now. What do you say, criminal? Shall I put you out of your misery? And ours, you would. 
Good. Be quiet. Well? Nothing to say? This is a mistake. I am a loyal servant of the throne. <laughs> but of course. I'll just let you out now, <clears throat> then. Shame you'll never get to prove that. Convicts or not, have a duty to the Imperium. Okay, so I'm just getting a absolute metric ton of unlocks right now. Yeah, same. Alright then. Um, so, let's see if we can get... Perfect. Alright. So, let's see what we got going on here. Refuse reclamation and disposal. The tankered bastion sewer conduit. Alright. What the heck? It's a siren. Looking around for Frankie anything Walker. that I'll be able to pick up. It's our first enemy, it looks like. <laughs> Alright. One shot. I'm supposed to block him, apparently. Whoops. Instead, I just decided to take his head off. Can't pick up their weapons or anything. The stamina bar, so don't want to run too much. Whoa! Okay. Oh, okay. It's all right. That's not the. So I can't be letting them break my uh, stamina, or they break my block. Gotcha. New objective, escape the cell block. I kind of figured that was uh, the idea from the beginning, but okay. It's apparently now our objective. Heretic containment. Don't reckon much to the security on this ship. I need all the response teams in the Block 87 Bay area. Bless this throne, there's no end to them. Kind of, su kind of surprised that I haven't found any like collectibles or anything. I imagine that is going to be a thing. Maybe. I didn't even bother to look very much. I just wanted to get through this so we can. That's you know. fair. But there might be some stuff that you would want to get anyway, so who knows. Yeah, I'm not like going absolutely out of my way to look, but I am checking around me. Big guy down. 
Oh, hi. Okay, so I can also stall his attack by hitting him. Good to know. That makes that a lot easier. Escape the cell bay. Yes, I know. Thank you. Where are my parking reinforcements? Security stations are overrun. We'll have to hold them in prison containment. Alright, new objective. Head towards the loading bay. Let's do it. That is a lot of gunfire. Path of the Pentanin. Oh, ow. Ready. Nothing. Can't open that. Let's go. Uh, oh, we open the door over here. Oh, gotcha. I'm looking the absolute wrong way. Still nothing. Got a bunch of stuff coming up. Wow. That guy's got range. Didn't know a pipe went across a room. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Okay, I'm okay trading a few blows here. Bonus. What? Need to reach a different deck. Hope that elevator is still working. Elevator. Let's go ahead and change some audio settings here because this is quite loud. All right, can you talk now, Cam? What's up? All right, much better. That okay. was. Difficult to hear. Honor while we're at the cutscene. Blood too, criminal. I just saved Said you. You were a loyal servant of the throne. I did. Shoot, three standard. Oh, they have guns too. I see. I'm a little rusty on shooters. My gosh. I'm giving you a chance. Cross me and you're dead. You understand, criminal? No. Yes, ma'am. I think those are friendly. Okay. Well, I guess we're going this way. I reload. Yes. You to switch between melee and ranged. Okay. Tankered Bastion. Prisoner processing. Oh, hi. I was reading, sir. That was not nice. Good. 
new objective, go to the hangar. All right. Well, let's see if we can find where the hangar is. Oh, hi. I'm gonna say we're going the right way. I'm assuming there's a crouch button. Yeah, okay. Control. That makes sense. Open it. Alright. Let's go. Reach the Storm Raptor. Emergency Egress 141 Zeta. I don't want to burn all my stamina while running, so I gotta be cognizant of that. That looks like a warthog. Didn't know I was playing Halo. That's a big guy. Masuzi, get us the hell out of here! Advise Zola. The guy is out. I need a minute to recalibrate. Give me a hold off for a minute then. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna say probably. Some more coming from the bottom. Go ahead and reload. I think for the prologue, they don't even really need me. Oh, I say that, now they're getting overran. Alright. as the objective. It doesn't say that we're holding out or anything, so. Yeah, don't come towards me. Alright. Is that all of them? Seems like it. Masozi, you done any time soon? Coming or not, you helped me. Maybe I can help you. No promises. Probably wind up dead. I was dead anyway. <laughs> Very Fair. poetic. Just don't tell anyone I let an escaped prisoner save my life. Or you'll be more than dead. <laughs> than dead, huh? Interesting so far. I mean, I like the cutscenes. Decent uh, control as well. Agreed. Don't let me down, criminal. Penance completed.
costume at once. And don't make me regret sparing your life. All right, so let's go ahead and report to uh, the strategium here, whatever that is. Ah, so the next step before we... Is this kind of no over? The best we can recruit these days? This one could be useful. It claims to be a loyal servant of the throne. Sounds great. This... I'm Sergeant Major Morrow. Your fresh meat. Mission briefings come through me. Let's see what you can do. All right. Get to the Sycanium. All right. To the Sycanium. I'll definitely be looking around here more too. If I'm honest, and I am seldom otherwise, I am not impressed. No wonder she recommended you for further training. Once you are shackled to my glorious Sycanium, I will mentor you in the skills and operative needs to survive. One assumes you do want to survive. Have no fear. My psychic conjurations cannot kill you, though they may leave persistent feelings of inadequacy. <laughs> Solid. You have the look of one soon to be dead. <laughs> All right, basic training. Basic training is a must for any operative. Estimated time, two to five minutes. Completing basic training grants access to the mission terminal and your standard issue war gear. Okay, so it looks like we got a couple missions before we can uh, hop in together. Yeah. That's all right. I'm not shocked. All right. You've come to learn, yes? The Sycanium is just the place. You can chain light or heavy attacks in any order. Chain attacks have different angles of attack and damage properties. Okay, so it actually matters where you hit and how you hit. That's good. Some weapons have a powerful special. All right, no idea what button that was supposed to be, but. Pushing can stagger groups of enemies. Pushing requires stamina. <laughs> Interesting. Pushing. Grenades can be equipped and thrown. Each class has access to different grenades. Easy enough. Your combat ability massively increases gun handling and damage for a brief time. Okay. Gotcha. Easy enough. Dodging allows you to evade range fire and melee attacks. Basic strafing mechanic. Oops. Enemy attacks initially damage your toughness. Once your toughness is broken, they damage your health. Additionally, enemy attacks will stagger and stun you if you have no toughness. Okay. Come on. Thank you. You take forever to deal damage. Killing enemies in melee replenishes toughness. Each nearby teammate also grants toughness regeneration. Oh, 
toughness with squad coherency. Okay. That marks the end of basic training. You are now ready to serve. Should you wish to further hone your knowledge, you can un use okay. armor piercing weaponry and attacks to damage armored enemies. Which care if he's armored enemies with heavy attacks? Okay. Uh, did you do the advanced training? Yes. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. You can perform a unique follow-up attack after a push. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Just stab them. Medipacks and ammo crates can be picked up and deployed to aid your team. Okay, so enough. Uh, oh, there we go. Ammo crate next. Cool. Downed teammates can be helped up. Incapacitated teammates are captured by the enemy. But can be rest corruption is caused by certain attacks, items, or being downed. Corruption reduces maximum health. If you are down when the last segment of your health bar is corrupted, you are incapacitated and captured. Health can be restored and corruption cleansed at Medicaid stations. Medicaid stations have limited uses, indicated by the glowing lights. Okay. Dangerous enemies can be tagged to alert your team. World markers can be placed to help coordinate your team's tactics. Got your heel. Sprinting helps avoid range fire. Omnar RGLH performs a slide. Sliding helps evade attacks similar to dodging. Thank you for the follow. Right. Sprint through. Okay. Woohoo! So far, so good. Closing with ranged enemies. Lock rifleman in melee. And engage in melee combat. Hi. Oh, I thought I killed you. Now I did. You're dead. When ranged enemies are shot at, they flinch, becoming suppressed. Suppressed enemies try to take cover and will not fire back. Okay. Gotcha. Enemy ranged attacks cause suppression. Making it hard Bye. to land accurate shots. Get out of the line of fire to restore accuracy. Oh, okay, I literally just that. All right, fair enough. What you prefer, range uh, range of CC? Uh, oh, range or close combat? I would say I'm probably gonna do range most. Get out of the line of fire. Oh, okay, I just got run over here. survive yeah i don't know we uh we just started so we'll go with the veteran for range okay uh, i'm not gonna lie i already forgot what i am i believe i am the veteran yeah veteran sharpshooter i to open my inventory all right, so there's that rating system. So yes, it is gonna be like, we're gonna gain eye levels essentially. Interesting. Cosmetics, feats. Ooh, yeah. all right. So there's gonna be a nice little uh, skill tree to go through.
And with that, we're going to wrap up episode one of Dark Tide, Warhammer 40k spinoff. It's been a very fun game so far. We've done a lot of story, character creation. We did the tutorial basics. Uh, in the next episode, we'll get into an actual mission and we'll see kind of what that looks like. Uh, if you enjoy this content or if you want to see it live, then swing over to the Twitch channel. Uh, it'll be posted at the end of this video. And with that, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.